In 1436, Filippo Brunelleschi performed one of the most revolutionary architectural feats in his day. He had successfully engineered the construction of the Duomo of Santa Maria di Fiore. The structure of such extravagance was thought impossible to build at the time, but Brunelleschi's innovative thinking and prescient knowledge, combined with a deep understanding of trigonometry, allowed him to do the unthinkable. Despite his remarkable achievements, Brunelleschi came from a modest and humble upbringing. Filippo Brunelleschi was born in Florence, Italy in 1377 to Brunelesco di Lupo, a lawyer, and Giuliani Sipin. He was the second oldest out of the three children and expressed notable artistic potential from a young age. Following his ambitions, Filippo enrolled in the Silks Merchant Guild, Arte della Seta, and soon after established himself as a professional goldsmith in 1398. In his late 20s, Filippo ventured to Rome with fellow artist and sculptor Donatello. There he studied art and architecture for over three years and began to take an interest in ancient Greek and Roman architecture. Inspiration had hit him. He gradually turned to architecture instead of art. One structure in particular that interested Filippo was the Pantheon. At the time, the Pantheon had been the largest dome in the world, rivaled by none. However, the Roman methods used to produce such an advanced structure had been long forgotten. In determination to observe the structure more intimately, Filippo went so far as to climb the dome to get a better look. Over a hundred years into the construction of the Florence Cathedral, which had begun in 1296, problems arose when trying to construct the dome. This dome aimed to be even grander than the Pantheon, but no structures of this scale have been built since antiquity. A structural design competition was held to search for a potential engineer. Amid hundreds of competent competitors, Brunelleschi prevailed as the most promising candidate. He won the competition, received the commission, and promptly began construction. Actually, what made the proposal so outlandish was that the structures at the time were built using supports called buttresses, and these emulated a gothic medieval style that was shunned in Italian culture. And as Italian architects turned to more classical Mediterranean styles, they sought out an innovator that would be able to engineer the dome without the support of the buttresses. And who better to take on the job than Filippo Brunelleschi? Filippo's fear of others stealing his work caused him to only release bits of his plans gradually. He kept his full plans to himself in order to ensure total control of the construction. Filippo designed several machines for the sole purpose of constructing the dome. He created special hoisting devices that helped carry supplies to the building sites. Utilizing a variety of horizontal and vertical wheels, a pair of oxen, in a pulley system, he was able to engineer a reverse gear history. Filippo followed the internal gothic ratio of the Quinto Accio because it had been established as the absolute criterion by the wardens of work in 1376, although unbeknownst to them at the time, this criterion utilized the same proportionality found in revered structures like the Great Pyramids of Egypt. This can be later attributed to the discovery of the Cantonary Properties, which is the constructive geometric method that functions by the inversion of tangents. The use of this inversion is best reflected by the landmark architectural feats accomplished during the transitional period from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance. The use of trigonometry is necessary for building simply impossible structures, such as the pyramids and especially our beloved Duomo of Santa Maria di Fiore. 사실 저는 지금 여기 왜 있는지 잘 모르겠습니다. 이 모든 시츄에이션들과 이 지금 상황들을 봐서 제가 무슨 인터뷰를 하고 있는 것 같은데 이 제가 왜 여기 있는지 하나도 모르겠고요. 제가 어떻게 여기 왔는지 뭘 하고 있는지 지금 제 앞에 있는 애가 누군지 그 다음에 이 카메라들은 다 뭔지 하나도 모르겠어요. 저왜 여기 있는 거예요? 저 아무것도 모르는 그냥 한국 사람인데 한국 사람이 필요하다고 그냥 저 쓰는 겁니까? 저 이런 
이러, 이렇게 모르는데 할수 있나요? 아무것도 모르는데 이 시츄에이션이라 이 모든 상황은 정말 저한테 아무 말도 없이 이렇게 다 해도 되나요? 이 아저씨는 지금 뭐 하는 거죠? 저 아저씨, 이 아저씨도 모르고 앞에 있는 여자도 모르고 앞에 있는 카메라와 앞에 있는 불빛들과 이 모든 상황들이 저에겐 너무 낯섭니다. Filippo's accomplishments can be credited to his mathematical genius and clear understanding of concepts that had been unexplored or had not been explicitly employed for centuries. Trigonometric concepts from the glory days of ancient Rome had been long forgotten by Filippo's time, but his rediscovery of these advanced concepts is what introduced light into the stagnant technology of the European world. Brunelleschi took the inspiration from Roman architecture to spark the beginning of a renaissance in Italy. And what made him one of a kind was that he furthered the technologies of his own society, not by mimicking the Romans, but by actually trying to create a name for the Italians in architecture. Filippo's contributions have had a lasting impact on modern architecture, and he can safely be considered one of the greatest architectural pioneers of all time. His success would not have been possible without the powerful concepts of mathematics. Many of the world's greatest landmarks and architectural feats would not have been possible without the application of trigonometry. We can all thank this seemingly dull subject for the wonders of the world.